You guys have seen this one. I got an email yesterday from a friend who's helping somebody with their first build. And this first build is currently all in metal, right? It's got the metal barrel and they're using half barrels. So they've got exposed half barrels and they're trying to burn it and they're panicking about whether it's working or not. And I just wanted to go over that issue one more time for folks who are new, um, who don't know that you can only extract so much heat from a rocket mass heater before it just won't work. And if you have a large system that is all metal radiating surfaces, you're going to take all the heat out of the exhaust and you're going to have no uh, difference in temperature, delta T, left in your final chimney exhaust to power your draft. And so you're going to have a plug chimney and the ch stove is going to exhaust through every little crack and gap and out through the front door and everywhere else. So um, just a reminder and if you're new and you haven't experienced it, just uh, a warning. If you're building your rocket mass heater, whether you're using flue pipe, half barrels, um, even a bell if you have a thin top and you're planning on putting masonry on later but maybe you've got steel there now as a, as a cap, um, anytime you have far more radiator surface area than you're going to have in your final build. You need to remember that you are extracting way more heat. Not only that, but masonry heaters, by the nature of being masonry heaters, they store heat in the body of the stove and in that way, they power their own draft. They don't do that until they're warm. And so for most builds, we like to, I like to incorporate a bypass so you can power the draft in the chimney without getting the mass warm. But if you don't have a bypass, you have to get the mass warm before you're going to have consistent, adequate draft. And so just a reminder um, that if you've got a bunch of bare metal out there and you're trying to burn your stove, don't panic. You just need to keep going and you need to get it hot and dry. And if you don't have a bypass, you're going to have a lot of smoke in the house during this phase. Um, it's why I always, all of my plans incorporate bypasses, but it certainly isn't to say that you can't have a successful build uh, without a bypass. You can. There's, there's hundreds of them, if not thousands out there. The only, um, you just need to be aware that when it's cold and the stove is cold, you need to warm up, uh, prime the stove and get it warm. And then usually for most of us with a masonry heater, that's only going to be once a year and then the thing's warm. So for a lot of us, that's acceptable. Um, so there, you know, if, if a bypass is a real difficulty to install, a lot of times it's easier just to install a priming port somewhere under your chimney where you can light some newspaper or something, prime the chimney, get the draft going, get the stove warmed up in the early part of the season. And then once it's warm, it should stay warm and you shouldn't have that issue ever again. So there's that.